We've got a big meeting coming up at Cannington on Saturday. It's Canning Show time. And the meeting is, of course, highlighted by the Canning Show Cup. And we've also got four heats of the Group 3 Young Stars Classic. This one's a little bit different, though. We've got an early start time. First race kicks off just after 4 p.m. with the last race just before 8 o'clock. So make sure you don't miss out on that. If you're heading down to the track, the venue will be open from 3 p.m. We're not doing the, our normal buffet in the restaurant, but the bar menu will be available and make sure you stick around for the fireworks at 9 p.m. Well, speaking of the Canning Show Cup, let's have a look at that now. And we've got a ripper field for this one. Some question marks surrounding Jayville Slick. We haven't seen this greyhound in WA since the start of May. He was, of course, a finalist in the Galaxy and had a great run over here earlier in the year. He's only been okay of late on the East Coast, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes back here in the West. Well, we the people had his last four starts over the 520 metre journey. We know where we the people will be jumping early, be near the tail of the field and doing uh, his best work late. Wicked Rhythm, a dog that generally goes better out in front, does have every chance to grab the lead here. And what about Vice Grip? This greyhound uh, having his first attempt over the 600 here in Western Australia, but did race this distance uh, when he was racing over east. We know how strong he's been finishing his races off, so he's certainly a chance here. Rostered off out of box seven here, has won his past two starts over the 600. Last week ran a PB time of 34.70. This is a dog that will certainly want to uh, find the lead and his chances certainly do rest on his ability to get on the lure here. And Winburn Burner out of box eight, generally thereabouts as well. Let's have a look at Rostered off though. We're not going to have a look at his last run. We're going back the week prior to that where he was jumping out of box eight which will give us a bit of a better indication of what might happen this time round and here he is as mentioned out of the pink desperate to cross and find the lead he's prepared to ride some bumps uh, to get there which he eventually does find the lead and from there he's off and away and Rostedoff goes on to win this one comfortably can he repeat the dose at Cannington on Saturday. We've also got four heats of the Young Stars Classic. A lot of good dogs going around and a lot to look forward to in this series as well. Probably a bit too much to cover within the scope of this preview, but I did want to highlight a few dogs that I'll be looking out for. In the first heat, we've got momentum going around again, and this dog, of course, had a brilliant win last week. We may have a look at that right now, and this is the rematch between Momentum and Vice Grip from the All-Stars Sprint Final. Destruction actually favourite here, but from box four, Momentum says, uh-uh, you are not getting to the lead and getting away here. A good battle between those two early stages. Momentum edges ahead into the turn and then Vice Grip joins the party. Momentum has a couple of lengths on Vice Grip in the back straight, but look out! As we head into the run for home, are we going to see a repeat of the All-Stars final with Vice Grip coming over the top? No, we're not. Momentum just holds on to score and he is records a gutsy win here. He's got box six in his Young Stars heat and certainly a dog to look out for. In the second heat, I thought we've got an interesting clash here between Panadero Opal and Jimmy's decision. Potentially a race in two between these two. They're certainly the standout dogs of the race. Panadero Opal, really nice chaser that is on the up. She's done little wrong in her 12 starts to date. I think Jimmy's decision though, coming off a big win last week, has that edge in experience, certainly racing against top quality greyhounds. Uh, but that's another one to look out for in the heats of the Young Stars Classic. Well, that's all ahead of us. We've got racing at Cannington tonight as well, a 12 race program with the first kicking off at 6.30. My best bet comes in race nine, number three, Golden Roses. Now this is a greyhound that's ran second in four of her past five starts. She's been running around that 22.20, 22.30 mark over the 380 metre journey. Been pretty consistent and if she's able to clock that sort of time again she'll go close 
to winning this one. I think she's a really good chance to lead this one again. She may give you some nervous moments towards the end of the race as the rest of the dogs catch up, but I'm backing her to get the chocolates here tonight. That's race nine, number three, Golden Roses. Well, that's all we've got for you today. If you can't make it to the track, we'll see you next week on the show.